Guys, I welcome okay. to another another episode of uh, Cricket Chat with Buzz, and uh, I have here with me uh, two brothers of uh, UAE cricket circuit, Baki, but extremely talented at the same time, the Kazi brothers, uh, Soel Kazi and Junaid Kazi, and uh, I also have with me uh, my favorite wicket keeper of all time, uh, that is uh, Mithal Patte. He's right now locked, locked down in Goa, uh, uh, so luckily for the best uh, place right now. Yeah, uh, luckily right now, so the balance is equal. You know, uh, we both are in India, and uh, these both are in UAE. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for doing this, and uh, welcome to the uh, the show. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Right. So um, I wanted to ask uh, Swell, uh, uh, what is uh, your difference? You know, that you find between Indo cricket, all the similarities between Indo cricket and our cricket to begin with. Sixteen overs of fielding, and then immediately five minutes break, and then those sixteen overs of batting. It it makes it like more intense. And I prefer playing indoor cricket more for a specific reason because I had a chance to play for UAE and somehow uh, in the past six months I worked really hard. I played some big uh, tournaments for the Premier Division and the ICL recently, which happened for the selection, and I made it to the probable. So and obviously you guys know the COVID situation right now. Otherwise, uh, in May May end we had a tournament in Sri Lanka that was the uh, Asia Cup. Asia Cup for indoor cricket. Yeah, Asia Cup, and uh, I was in the probables, and there were three teams actually. The emerging team was there. Uh, then uh, there was this. Uh, the main team was there. There was a T team. I mean, obviously, three teams were going for the cup. So I was pretty sure that I will make in one of the teams. So I kept on playing indoor. Like outdoor, you know, there's a lot of competition and uh, there's a lot of uh, talented players, and obviously, like uh, getting to an international team is not easy in outdoor. So I, I just made my mind like if I'm getting an opportunity, why not give my hundred percent in indoor? Um, I want to ask you guys a very simple, uh, straightforward question: Is you, in UAE we have played a lot of cricket in uh, on the cement pitches. Okay, now Mithil, when you started playing cricket, I'm sure yeah. on Gulf, uh, sorry, in Goa, you started playing with. Uh, Uh, regular turf pitches. Matting. Junaid, you played uh, matting as well. Turf and matting. Yeah, Junaid, you uh, you've been in uh, Porbandar. You played a lot of these uh, uh, matting and yeah. turf. Kazi, you also have uh, gone yeah. when you were in India. You played that. I have experienced the turf in uh, Pune and uh, mat in Bangalore. Uh, when I obviously left Dubai. So for me, cricket in Dubai has always been about cement pitches. And now you guys are playing there in Dubai cricket with cement pitches. So ideally, the most essential difference. You find between both the formats, like both the type of cricket, uh, especially you know in, with the big big bats and all that are there nowadays, and also the most similar thing that you find. Uh, anyone can start. Uh, Junaid, you want to start first? Okay, so obviously turf cricket is very different from cement because cement is like ideal. You know the length, you know the pitch where it's pitching, the length of the ball, you know how to play turf. Do you know? Sometimes it's not uh, what you are expecting. Sometimes the wicket is slow. Sometimes the wicket is quick. And UAE, especially the wickets are a bit damp. You know, clay wickets, sticky. You can say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somewhat like you know, Indian pitches are so. On obviously, I have played a turf in India, and I, you know, we cannot go early on the ball. We need to take time. We need to keep eye on the ball. Get the ball under the bat, under your eye, and everything. In cement, obviously, it's just like you need to read the length of the ball, and you know. That this is going to be the length, and you can play your shot. It's just like a flat wicket that you play. So, cement game is much easier, obviously, because there are more records, more sixes I have seen in cement than uh, turf cricket. Because obviously, you know, turf is a proper cricket where I believe we have to pay more turf to do it. But obviously, it's because it's expensive, and then teams cannot sponsor, so we don't. But I prefer uh, turf cricket than cement, though. Obviously, I mean, it's not, it's not. Much difference, I can say. As a batsman, obviously you need to adapt to conditions and pitches and everything. Either cement or turf. I've seen mm-hmm. players, good, good batsmen like Fawad, Fawad Tarek, Fido, um, and I don't know a few names. You know, Wasim Bari, I can say, and the other batsmen who play both cement and turf exactly the way they they have to do, as if it's like you know easy for them. It's a cakewalk. I mean, even Rahul Mustafa, the main captain, uh, he is uh, he's no, playing international cricket cement or any. Yeah. Exactly, he plays cement. Also, it's no difference for him because you know that's how you adapt to the conditions. But for us, obviously, we are not much into turf, so sometimes it gets difficult. But we obviously, if we play much, then we might get into the rhythm, inshallah. I guess it's all about practice. Yeah. So, okay, Mithil, your points. Okay. Uh, I would say about cement wicket and turf wicket. The one thing is that on cement wicket, the bowlers don't have any mercy. Like you just come in the line of the ball and you just get hit for it. 
I've seen many batsmen, especially in UAE, where where more more kind of uh, cement uh, matches are played. In in India, comparatively, no, it's matting and turf. Most of them are turf, so matting would be mostly sort of at school level or yeah. some uh, D division uh, club level and those kind of tournaments. But I've seen many batsmen in UAE. Who who do who do wonders on on cement wicket, but when they come into the turf wicket uh, matches and they cannot perform, especially because their feet don't move. Yeah. You know that's the main thing I have noticed that uh, you know many batsmen on turf wicket they do wonders. They 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 score centuries in like 30 balls, 35, 40 balls, and when they come onto the turf wicket facing a good bowler, they just can they they just cannot reach the ball. You know because of the spin, you can say, or because of the turn sharp turns that uh, that the bowler gets. There's a lot of difference if you consider to to, to consider between cement and turf, and especially when when you are you are playing in UAE circuit where uh, you know on papers or on on WhatsApp you get scores like 400 or 300 in in T20 matches. Someone ends up scoring 200 or 150, yeah, yeah. which true. is quite common on cement wickets. But you will not see that on an turf wicket. You know, no matter That's how good of a batsman. So that decides. That's the level of cricket. Uh, that uh, you know the level of cricket on on turf. Oh, okay. Yeah, but a good batsman, as Junaid said, a good batsman would adapt it easily. Because uh, you know he he's, he's always there where he's not hitting the ball with power. It's more sort of timing and it's more sort of his his foot movement. And the the, the players that Junaid mentioned, I would say yes, Fawad Tarek. I've also noticed Wasim, uh, Mohammed Wasim, who is emerging right now, and hopefully we'll see him. We'll see him in in, in UAE team in the coming days. Uh, these are these are some batsmen I've seen the the the. the The scores, or you would say, the performance is same on cement and and turf wicket, you know. So and and one thing is about a good bowler, a good bowler, like you know, he bowls a good ball on an on a cement wicket and he gets hit for a six. He doesn't get whacked over covers or anywhere, you know, anywhere. Yeah. But the, but when it comes to a turf wicket, a bowler gets respect. Like 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 Kazi, you know, when they bowl fast. Like Kazi will tell you, Kazi will tell you about it. I guess. Yeah. Uh, Uh, what's the difference yeah, the ball, I, yeah, yeah, I agree I agree with uh, Junaid in terms of uh, like batting perspective because for a good good batsman it's easy to adapt and Mithil is also right that there is no mercy for bowlers like being a fast bowler until 2016 I had no idea what is good length on cement cricket honestly <laughs> and that was a very funny thing I used to like you know think 10 times before you know bowling one ball why because There were like captains or players who would tell, come and tell me bowl on good length, and I know what is good length. But on cement, I had no idea what is good length because even if it's I a very good length for a batsman, on a good length, yeah, <laughs> it's a very good length for him to whack me out of the park. And uh, uh, until 2018, I didn't have a slower one. Okay, and when I saw uh, some some bowlers who were like uh, you know who would. Who, were, who made big names in cement cricket, and you know they were lethal. Nadir Bhai, for example. What I saw in them was, boy. yeah. What I saw in them was it, it was not the pace, the swing. They played around with the uh, the uh, like uh, you know uh, with the batsman's uh, mind. Like they had variety of balls. Like you can't say like uh, someone bowling at Wasim Akram's level bowling six different balls, but uh, bowlers here they do play uh, with the pace. And especially they read the batsman because some batsmen are really good uh, with the, like I would say for Junaid. I know Junaid's weak point very well. Any ball that is uh, right after the slot, he will completely miss it. And any ball which is just uh, around good length or uh, short of good length, it's going out. So you know you need to understand the batsman. And in T20, especially on cement, you don't have that much of time. It's just one over. You need to analyze the batsman, and the other over. You cannot give any excuse that you tried your level best. You have to give your hundred percent. There's no yeah. excuse for that. You will, you, over, you will only get a second over. You will only get a second over if you don't get hit for forty-five runs. That's if you bowl. Uh, yeah, well. exactly, exactly. Because see, uh, turf cricket in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever you start the match, you go and check the pitch. Yeah. You know, there's the conditions, the air, the but in cement, the yeah, the conditions. Yeah, but in the yeah. cement, there is no condition. There is only one condition in cement pitch, and that is, uh, you know, if the pitch is. Uh, overused, or there are a lot of cracks on it. That's the only difference that uh, is uh, what you see on the cement pitch. Great. Other than that, there is nothing. Okay, so I, I would like to highlight one point. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Well, if you don't, uh, the thing is nowadays the condition of the ball, the ball quality is not that good. 
True. We cannot maintain the ball for a longer period of time. So the ball, you know, is wrapped up and everything. It does not do much on the wicket. I mean, I believe if it's a good quality ball and if there is a bit of time and everything, at least if you swing on a cement wicket, it might help you. But the thing is, nowadays, obviously, playing division and then the quality of the ball, I think the bowler cannot do much. With that, yeah. even on turf, we can obviously there are big goals, big scores. But the thing is, get a good quality ball, which does not, you know, get used up in ten overs. It doesn't look like a thirty over uh, <laughs> ball. So I think a bowler might be having more chance to do something better. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I mean uh, when I started playing cricket in UAE, that was like way back in two thousand one or something. Uh, in uh, just after my like in in my twelfth, eleventh, twelfth. Okay, so there used to be these balls which were only A J or C. Okay. And good quality, four piece yeah. AJCA, and the cost was also decided. So it was at least twenty dirhams at that time, which is technically forty fifty yeah. dirhams now. Okay, and those are the balls. That's it. You will not get any other duplicate quality, any other like you know guys X Y Z brand trying to make their own balls from Sialkot or you know or Meerut and bringing them. There were these two balls and SG obviously SG Kukubura. These are the balls. Uh, yeah. And so even then on twenty five overs games, uh, that. Games used to like you know runs used to be 140, 150 plus. That's it. In 25 overs game, okay, there was no T20 at the time when I started, and it was still difficult to chase because even though it was cement pitch, even though the ground was like roughed up and all that, but obviously rolled. But this ball quality mattered. Like Junaid said, it was a very very valid point. No matter how good the bat is, if the ball yeah. is not good, it does it does yeah. It, it will not help the ball yeah. Okay, uh, so I guess uh, this discussion, uh, you know, helps uh, uh, Mithal and I. It, it helps us validate that uh, our choice of being a wicketkeeper rather than a bowler in UAE circuit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about the bowler, man. Man, Junaid is there. <laughs> um, I want to come back to a very important point, you know, about few players that we all have played together. Whenever Junaid comes back, we'll get him on. Uh, like you see, you guys have played uh, together for obviously Delta Kings, my team that we used to play on Saturdays from back mm. and all that. But yeah. more importantly, the tournament games we played for uh, Blues. We also played together for Chargers. Uh, I played a few matches for Chargers, but it was great fun for me whenever I did turn up. Mm. Uh, but Blues is where we also played more uh, often, you know, regularly. Junaid uh, played for Blues. Kazi started his UAE cricket. Yeah. So with the, I think he also started the UAE cricket for Blues itself. So uh, yeah. I, we have these players who are very common. Yeah, for blues itself. Okay, so I want to. I'm gonna give you name. Mm-hmm. Your, you know your uh, names of few players that you've played common together. And I want you guys to just name one adjective. Like if you have to choose one word to describe them, just one word. Okay. I know some someone like Jatinder Mudibai. One word is not gonna be enough. But still, we have to make that choice. <laughs> and when Janet comes in, we'll get him to play this as well. So it's gonna be Suhail will answer first, then Mithil will answer. Okay. 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 So first player, obviously, Jatin Dhan. One word. Trunkard. Trunkard. Okay. Mithal. I would say a selfless captain. Okay. Good. There are two words, but okay. Jatin Dhan, um, friendly person. Obviously, supports a lot. Okay. Let's Maybe, maybe play it on your game. If I have to describe Jatin Dhan, I'm gonna be saying just one word. There are two words rather. It's called best friend. It's always good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Next person in line, obviously Modi Bhai. So, well, uh, aggressive. Okay, Mithal. Say supportive. True. Passion, aggression. Okay, great. For me, Modi Bhai has always been passionate. That's that's the first word that comes from whenever I see him. But I've seen him when he was part of the original charges to the superstar Modi Bhai that everyone knows now. Okay, when nobody knew him, I knew him at that time also. He was passionate, and the same passion still continues. Okay, next, uh, Shashu Bhai. Mentor. I would also say the same thing, mentor. Fearless. Fearless. For me, Shashu Bhai has always been a uh, uh, great batsman. I mean, I've always feared his batsmanship whenever I, when I was even in school days. So, yeah, for me, that's not bad. Okay, next person uh, that we all have played with is Fido. Genius. 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 It's, it's a one word, a fat, and the T comes again with the talented. Oh, nice. <laughs> fat talented. Fat talented. <laughs> fat talented. <laughs> Juno. <laughs> Um, multitasker, amazing all rounder. He's always going to be my uh, teddy bear. <laughs> so, Satej? Uh, cool and calm. Okay. Uh, Mithal? I would call him like since we have started blues, restarted blues, uh, he has always played that 
savior part you know and savior part for yeah. i mean any 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 a savior i would call him uh, looking at the current scenario for okay junaid uh committed and supportive yes okay for me sandej has been uh, generous he's always been generous uh, next person we all have played with uh, and obviously blues are played under his captainship a lot uh, ashif so well a very cunning cricketer i would say very cunning brain he is excellent with uh, his decision so i would say he is a very cunning cricketer true and he is exactly like good with say? all departments all departments uh, i would say i would say cunning because he becomes cunning when it comes to play with other 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 teams mind and okay. the, the strategy that he uses okay. and the brain that he has for cricket like there are so many things going on in in just one match that Absolutely. you know if, if you actually understand try to understand this guy he is uh, in depth with everything like yes. in all departments i would say passionate and smart passionate because you call him any time and any team calls him up at any point of time he'll just go to play that that's his love for the game and smart yes as uh, kazi said i would say he's smart because his mind is always running uh, is always on a running period it's never on a rest period when he's there on the field whether he's batting is bowling or is fielding there's always something about the game going on in his mind okay jared Yeah, somewhat similar. He's a very good analyzer of the game, and he goes in depth of the game, no matter whatever the scenario is. Yeah. For me, Ashif has always been. Uh, you know, initially I used to uh, not like him much because you know I thought like, what straight away, कुछ भी बोलते टाइम पे, and we come to enjoy cricket. Like I used to at least. हमको मजा करने के लाने तक, just to enjoy, play a good match and go. And he has no जाना है तो जितना ही जाना है, and anyone who does little bit wrong, उसकी तो band बज जानी है. So I used to kind of not like that. Like but, losing matches. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't like losing matches. Mm. Very, very aggressive cricketer. Best Bangladeshi <laughs> domestic player of the year. <laughs> yeah. So no, but for me, but uh, I think in our in our circle, in, in our circle, there is nobody who has played as much cricket as Ashif has done. Honestly. Yeah. Twenty four seven. Nobody. Okay. Uh, last person. I know this is last person because you guys are playing currently with him or him. I had played with him almost a decade ago when. Uh, He was, I believe, still in the university level with Jatin there. So, uh, but I always loved his bowling. Uh, I want, uh, I want Junaid to be the last person to answer for this as usual. So here we'll start with you, Sakib. Uh, just one word, ah. Huh? Yeah, our Sakib. Flash. Uh, yeah, he. Bande ka ek word, ek word kaise yar bol sakte? Main bol sakta hu. One word, only one word. And Junaid is gonna be only saying one word. Ramp. Cram, 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 boy. Cram, okay. Cram, maga. <laughs> I'm gonna send this part to him. Okay, Nital. <laughs> Sakib, I would say uh, friendly. Yeah, I would say a, a good friend. Um, when it comes, not much about cricket. I would talk about it, but yeah, a very good friend. Okay, Jolair. <laughs> Two words, okay. Impatient uh, oh, yeah. and generous. I can say both. <laughs> I have I have one thing to add actually. Uh, that word oh, I use why generous for the fun part. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That word <laughs> cramp I used was just for the fun part. But uh, if I if I want to describe Sakib, he's a very humble person. He's yeah, a he very is. humble guy. Yeah. Humble, obviously, yes, yes, true. So, Okay, so that has been great for you know getting to know a few more people from your point of view and you know getting to know their thoughts behind their uh, their part in your cricketing life so far. Um, uh, I wanted to know you know your first reaction when you met me or our first interaction. If you even remember, I mean, uh, uh, I'm sure Mithil will only talk positive because he just talks that way. Uh, but you guys can just uh, spit it out. Uh, There was a first no. meeting. Right? Don't ask us the first impression. Ask us the last impression. Then you'll get the right. What was the first, first impression? What was the question again? What, what was the first <laughs> meeting like? You know, if you remember our first meeting, uh, when you guys, uh, one of you, all of you, when you met me first, how was it? Or do you even remember it? Uh, Kazi, do you remember when we yeah. first met? Uh, well, I first met you uh, when I had come to see Blues match. Okay, mm. but it was not a night match actually. I saw you in the day match, and it was a Friday. and uh, when i first saw you like obviously looking at you i was like this guy is someone senior in the team the way you were like you know the, your talks and the way you were chatting with everyone and in the hurdle the way you spoke 
and I was like, oh, this guy is someone really, really senior in the team. Like honestly, I had no idea how old are you, but I was like, no, this guy is something in the team. And when I saw you keeping, I was like, uh, you know, I was blank when I saw you keeping. Like especially uh, bad, when I started bowling, it was so so amazing at that point watching you keeping on cement wicket because I know how cement cricket was because I saw a few matches and the pace that the bowlers bowl. I got surprised when I saw you keeping on the stumps uh, to myself and uh, Mustafa. If you remember, one of our paces. Absolutely. I was surprised, and that at that point you were at your peak, and uh, and this 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 uh, image of yours, this uh, perception of yours in my mind was always there that you've been an amazing wicket keeper, and yeah, a very good team player. You made a lot of effort to keep your players together, making ten different kind of teams and running Delta Kings, and you know helping uh, friendly cricketers and uh, getting them around with some different. Uh, Companies to play from, uh, uh, you know, from different uh, localities, yeah, pick them up, brought them, did a lot of things. So it was good. थोड़ा सा ही बोलने का था यार इतना नहीं मेरे को बहुत एडिट करना पड़ेगा अभी. Okay. मित्र. आठ दिन बीच में से. यार तीन सेलिब्रिटी को लेके कर रहा है सब लोग देखेंगे अब दो घंटे का लोगों का देख. वही ना. देख तो आप भी नहीं आ रहे. Okay, मित्र. Okay, so as you know, I met you first in 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 sports, and yeah. um, uh, I was introduced to you for the sake of cricket. That uh, this is a young guy came from Goa and blah blah blah. And when I played, I guess I played with you that match. I I I I saw that you had a very good knowledge of of the game because I had come I had come from Goa and and I I came to Dubai and I was just playing this tennis ball matches, but there was no much planning and all sort of thing. So my first impression about you was that he has a good knowledge of cricket. और ये मेरे को खिलाएगा आगे किधर ना किधर तो खिलाएगा भाई ये था मैं जुनो डू यू रिमेम्बर व्हिच 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 हैपेंड व्हिच हैपेंड आल्सो इन टू आई एक्चुअली डोंट रिमेम्बर बट यस व्हेन आई सॉ यू फर्स्ट ऑब्वियसली एज सुहेल सेड यू नो द वे यू वर टॉकिंग एंड द नॉलेज ऑफ योर गेम एंड यू नो आई सॉ यू कीपिंग ऑब्वियसली इट वाज अमेजिंग एंड आई रिमेम्बर वंस आई वाज अगेंस्ट यू एंड आई वाज बैटिंग इन स्काईलाइन एंड आई गॉट आउट एंड आई वेंट बैक आई थॉट आई एम बोल्ड and i was sitting there and then i later after the match i saw the score card and i was like stumped and i was like when did that happen it was lightning fast and i had no idea i just the moment i missed the ball and i see the bail i hear the sound and i kept walking i'm like okay my ball ho gaya when i went there i was feeling on short bird man i saw that i, I was feeling on short bird man i i don't want to say but i did score in that match i was done so just, i just kept walking i was tired as well and when i see yeah. there it's like i'm stumped and i asked you i'm like kab kiya bhai stump and i didn't even yeah. get to know it was that quick so i remember yeah, i remember that was that was, yeah, I mean, that was when i used to get my the ball in the hands you know abhi to ball aata hi nahi aate yeah you were too yeah obviously exactly you were medium pace bowler and but uh, uh, Jeanette, like uh, if i'm wrong uh, if i'm not wrong i that is not the first time we met the first time we met i remember was no, we didn't uh, we didn't meet we, we didn't meet that first time obviously yeah, yeah the first time we met was uh, that was on the first time uh during your cricket coaching with gforce uh, it was the second year of gforce it yes. was in zabil park and you were a fast bowler only yeah. a fast bowler at the time but damn good fast bowler yeah. and uh, i had just yeah. come to meet uh, gopal bhai for some work uh, whatever it was it um, and i saw you guys uh, you were bowling and you literally were throwing bowling ball, plain of bowling the kids stumps off uh, so yeah i remember that part for sure uh, my yeah, first impression yeah, of kazi but, but you don't know the other part right You don't know the other part. When he went to Pune Bandar and came back because of mosquitoes. No, 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 no. <laughs> 2018 AIPL. What is that? 18, I wasn't no, there. No, Baba. No, no, that was not AIPL. No, 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 Yes, bro. Unfortunately, you know. If, if you ever have, have a trailer, this this has to come at least two, three times in the trailer. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna do yeah. something like that. Okay, so runs, one over forty-five runs. One over forty-five runs. To be very honest, to be very honest, the keeper was like you, Shabazz, physically. But I'm very much confident. If you were there, hundred percent, you would have taken that ball on the on the leg side. That person wasn't even moving, and because of that. I can't even abuse right now, but you I'm, bold, I'm you bold wides, bro. You, this video is gonna go on YouTube. On. If you want, let's to abuse, let's you not blame. 
you learn from your mistakes right you don't blame us three wides 15 yeah. runs and whatever 18 15 and 3 yeah 18 runs whatever extra rest i was with <laughs> but those three wides really destroyed my yeah, career itna kaun khata hai yaar itna kaun khata hai khaya nahi khaya nahi best yeah. reaction yeah. came from prakash itna kaun khilata hai mittal itna kaun khilata hai i swear itna kaun khilata hai okay uh, so coming back to the the first impressions uh, when i saw you first uh, Uh, Kazi, I actually had no idea you were Junaid's brother. None of us had any idea you were Junaid's brother. Yeah. Uh, none of us had any idea. Similarly, that Ashif was a Gujarati. Because of you, we got to know that Ashif is a Gujarati because he spoke to you you in Gujarati. Otherwise, we thought he's a Bengali. Gujarati, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, um, my first impression was when you were fielded in that uh, match. Uh, you know, uh, it was like uh, I thought like. ठीक है जतिंदर वाज लाइक चलो ठीक है खिलाया थे मार्विन वाज लाइक वी डिड नाउ प्लेस वी कॉल्ड हिम बट डैम क्या फील्डिंग करता है यार कौन है पता नहीं ये छुट्टियां जो इतना फील्डिंग करता है बट जिसको कि खिला देंगे इसको बनाएंगे अपन जतिंदर ने इसको बनाया है ये अपना प्लेयर बनेगा एंड दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंड आई मीन जतिंदर एंड मित्र मार्विन ने यो दे काइंड ऑफ स्टक विद यू गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दे दे आर यू ऑल यू गाइस ऑल यू गाइस यू यू बैक मी अप सो दैट वाज अ गुड थिंग Mittal's first impression, I know Abhay Bhai. If I'm not wrong, he introduced me to you yeah. in sports, and uh, that time uh, you did bowl well, decent enough. So I thought, "Chalo, okay, all rounder mil gaya." But then you came out of the ground and you told me that you're a wicket keeper. I'm like, "Chalo, okay, I'm just going to play cricket." But then, as it turned out, but then, as it turned out, bat bat ke bhi khilaya mere ko. Later, later. Hai, later hai, jo jo hai, wo hai. So what? As it turned out, uh, when I saw you batting outdoor cricket, the first match itself. I was blown away, bro. I mean, uh, I had only uh, by that point of time I was a big fan of Marvin's batting. Uh, but then, to be very honest, uh, Marvin took a back seat, and then you overtook him as far as my favorite batter was concerned in our team, in the Blues team at least. Okay, not the overall team cricket, okay? but at least in the Blues team, it was uh, always dependable. So I loved uh, the way you guys uh, played, and you know, uh, appreciated the every bit of Jatinder Marvin and Blues effort so far, and also the restart of Blues. It's great, great to hear. I just wish I was there. I'm still wearing blue. None of you are. True. But yeah, stay. So, I under blue hai yar. Dikha nahi sakta. No, I was having. We were having last uh, test match with South Africa, so you know I'm wearing white. Memories. South Africa didn't play with us. I yeah, I'm supporting pink as well. <laughs> okay, chalo, okay. So guys, um, just wanted to you know get a few more thoughts of yours uh, before we part ways because I know it's uh, gonna be a little longer conversation now. Um, I want to know your favorite batsman, bowler, all-rounder, and fielder in that order. Starting with uh, Mittal first, Chandra this time. No, but we are talking about the players we have played with. That you have played with, yes. No international. Would I would say batsman? When you talk about batsman, uh, Wasim. Right now, in the current UAE circuit, at least I feel he is one of the best, best in the game. Uh, the way he he times the ball, you can say the the range of shots that he has. Is, is just magnificent, you know. You, you just cannot uh, uh, get eyes off it, or uh, eyes off him when he's batting. Uh, apart from that, I would say Fido. Fido is uh, a very talented guy. I would say that somewhere because of his fitness or whatever reason, he he lagged behind, or he would have done wonders. But uh, yes, these are the two batsmen. Uh, bowler. When we talk about bowler, there was uh, one one pace guy, Saeed Bhai. Uh, I played with uh, Saeed Bhai. Uh, uh, was a very, a very good uh, fast bowler. And if you'd say a smart bowler, uh, smart bowler, I would say Nader Bhai. Uh, Nader Bhai was a pretty smart bowler when when it came uh, when it came to sl- uh, slower balls or this kind of thing to you know uh, get the batsman out. Mm, yeah, these are the two things. And we field field uh, Kasi, I would say. Uh, I he just uh, supercharged always. And then there was one more guy, Marvin. If, uh, oh, if yeah. we have seen him, Marvin. if we have seen him, seen him in his prime uh, when you know he used to be fit and everything, then he was one of the uh, one of the beast in the field, you know. Okay, uh, Junaid. Wicket keeper. Wicket keeper. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Wicket keeper. 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 I didn't ask. तेरा बाप विकेट कीपर विकेट कीपर इस शक्ल के वेल ब्रो यार आई वुड से आई हैव सीन लाइक प्लेड विथ और प्लेड अगेंस्ट ऑब्वियसली आई हैव सीन टू गुड बैट्समैन आई थिंक वेरी टेक्निकल बैट्समैन अगेंस्ट से नादर भाई लाइक आई द वे ही बैट्स फॉर मी ही इज अनदर जो रूट 
you know i call him pakistani joe root because the way he bats he has all the techniques and you know he's very tricky mashallah very good all rounder obviously but batting wise yes another one is imran who plays for splash who i call him kl rahul the way his mm-hmm. body language is the way he bats his timings and everything his short selection beautiful he's a classy classy player so these are the two good batsmen for me bowling well uh, i don't remember that guy's name i had played a division in that and i think habibullah if i'm not wrong he is too quick and he was that we were we were all out for 80 90 runs at least team the pathan though so that guy is one bowler i would obviously vote for fielding obviously yes my brother i have seen him feel 100% commitment mm-hmm. and uh, wasim mohammad wasim as a fielder mm-hmm. also he's too good uh, i have seen tarik drop any catch it's like any catch you give him he takes it like a dolly tar tarik no matter how hard you were hit no matter how high you hit this guy is like bucket hands more than a bucket you know he's that good so fielding wise yes i can name them i don't have a lot of players a lot of good players are there no doubt about it you know yeah. uh, no, but this is supposed to be your favorite i mean we all are supposed to have a favorite right we can choose our favorite like that's what i can hear when we come to bat yes exactly when when i when i can hear yes they have come to bat they can take the game away from us so i can yeah. say yes especially yeah. what nadir bhai is that this guy can literally yeah. take the game away from you he's yeah. too good he nadir comes down the order he bats and 5 7 He has done the same thing coming down the order after five wickets are down, coming at number yeah. seven, eight, and then batting, and then you know we don't even expect the team is on one twenty and the score goes two hundred two. Don't even know how quickly he gets runs. Absolutely. So yeah. Absolutely. Kazi. Uh, Our circuit uh, keeping the international out. It's uh, obviously Nadir Bai is there, and there's one more guy uh, whom I really like is uh, Pravin Achutan. All right, he comes like four five down, and the way he finishes the match, he's lethal. And bowling wise. Uh, See, there are a lot of bowlers I've played with, but I really love Pito. When I see him bowling, like I'm pretty confident that he's gonna get us wickets. And uh, apart from that, in our circuit, a good bowler I consider Jatin as a good bowler, just keeping his fitness in mind. Uh, but he's a very good swing bowler. The only thing good about him, what I like, is you know even if he gets hit for a six, his confidence is always high. And even if his uh, bowlers get hit for a six or something, he will come and back you up. He will never scream at you or something. You know that confidence as a bowler is always high. So I like him as a bowler because he's never down. He's never down. Even if you hit him 24 runs, he's never down. Yes, yes, he's fine. Only the problem is, you know, breathing. That's the only time he's down. Otherwise, mm-hmm. everything is good. He's a breathless <laughs> bowler. Okay, so let's stay out of Kazi's answers. <laughs> and yeah, fielding. Uh, You know really you can't choose a lot yourself. of people. I I know I can't choose myself, but in my team, uh, after me, I will choose. Not after uh, me. As a fielder, I will choose Junaid. I would choose because right now in our team, the current team is Junaid, uh, who's uh, pretty good uh, on the boundary. And apart from that, there is one more guy. Uh, uh, what we call uh, Imran, who uh, whom uh, Junaid was talking about. He's also yeah, a very good yeah. boundary fielder. And yeah, Godwin. Not to forget Godwin. Uh, Godwin, yes, you know, Godwin Godwin also. How Godwin? Amazing. Okay, so when I said the last bit is, I want to uh, have your opinions about. And you, you try to keep it short. I know it's going to be difficult for you all, but try to keep it short. <clears throat> your heartfelt opinion about Modi Bhai, Jatinder, and Marvin, and in that order, if you can, or whichever order you want to take. Kazi, okay, I'll start with you. Better. So Modi Bai, uh, so for Modi Bai, I would say like the Modi Bai is a very helping person. Okay, done a lot for our cricket, not for his cricket, but for our cricket. He's someone who's very aggressive on the field. Okay, in short, and uh, passion, knowledge, and uh, the kind of unity he keeps in the team is amazing. In comes Shashad Bai. Shashad Bai is someone we I call him a mentor because uh, this guy. is not only talented with cricket but has also a very big heart to support cricket of others yeah. okay and uh, all the things he has done for charges because uh, what i remember is he's the one who started uh, giving that uh, kind of solid backup uh, to charges to bring it to a level the the, the big tournaments that he played like yes. and stuff so shashad bhai is also you know an amazing person then comes to jatinder well he jatinder is a combo of both mithi bhai and uh, shashu bhai because he's done all the parts uh, since the time i started playing cricket i have seen him 
uh, not just supporting team with the finances but also being there you know for transport for food for, you know for anything for anything outside for cricket inside cricket is always there for drinks yes of, of, obviously after every match the, the way this That's guy main thing. you know get gets you home and then you know <laughs> the way he treats everybody is amazing and he he's obviously a sardar so there's no question about it he has a big heart mahavir the <coughs> sardar Marvin he is a crazy guy but you know he, he is one person that i would always love to have in my team okay because it's not just i remember that the way he batted in all the matches we played together there was always this different kind of an attitude uh, in him but that attitude was always positive to me because you know with him i also used to get a boost i don't know about others and yeah the type of i mean the way he talks and his comedy and everything is like you know it keeps the team laughing you know all the time okay. good um i thought i thought you got to bring a dumbbell seat in thank god <laughs> edit <laughs> this is editing only okay okay so um junaid your thoughts on these four people only or yeah, i choose yeah. any random these, these, these four, four right these four people because okay. these are the modi bhai is us. a straight Yeah, so Modi Bhai is a very straightforward person. He is not one of the those people I have seen like you know maybe talk behind your back or something. If he doesn't like you on the field in certain way, he'll be straightforward. No matter who is there, who is you know looking at us or what. If he doesn't like something on the field of the field, he will tell you on your face. And obviously, he's a helpful person. He does. Um, I'll just cut short. And then uh, Sarshu Bhai, he is a very friendly person you know like obviously he's senior he has played really good cricket he's a very good batsman but then down to earth person he will not make you feel you know that he's a senior and he you know he will if he wants to sacrifice his position he will do that i have seen it and uh, obviously we have a lot of fun on the field me and such why not because he keeps joking around all it makes you feel you know comfortable with them even if you're playing with your seniors who else than jatin there uh, supportive very helpful and uh, obviously you know this guy like whatever you say him he will listen to you even though it's negative He'll give you a good feedback over it. Sometimes, you know, there are arguments with him, but this guy will never take on his heart. He abuses him, or it becomes very, you know, fuming uh, argument on the field or something. Exactly. I've seen you guys fighting, and after 15 minutes, you guys are okay. So this guy doesn't, you know, keep it in his heart and then, you know, uh, drag it for a longer period of time. And then Marvin, he is. he's he's like me i can say like you know he's he's a comedy guy he talks a lot on the field he's in a jolly mood but he knows he has to take his game seriously he knows when it when it comes to him he has to feel bat or bowl and during that time he will be serious and he will you know give his 100% no matter what so he just tries to keep the game alive by his jokes and everything but that person is very much focused on the game and he obviously thinks about the team and he needs he loves you know to win all the time great stuff um let's go Okay, so for me, Sharshu Bai and Mudi Bai would be the same comments. I if I try to describe them both, it would be the same. Uh, always helpful, I would say. And thanks to both of them, we have played a, a good level of cricket when we played for when we represented Chargers. Uh, Mudi Bai and due to Sharshu Bai, both of their efforts, we 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 played a very good level of cricket. And then second thing, they are always helpful with big heart. uh on and off the field you would say i would say is about sharshu bhai and mudi bhai and even when it came to mudi bhai he, he is a little more active right now currently in the cricket circuit so i would say is that he is giving chances to a lot of youngsters uh, to uh, to promote them to a higher level cricket to give them a good backing uh that's the best about him i like and his love and his passion for the game it's always there when i saw him last uh, uh like not last first i guess back in 2013 or 14 i don't remember the exact time but yes the the passion for the for the game has always grown and it has never you know gone low so so that that's one thing about mudi bhai that uh sharshu bhai yes of course uh, the best you could ever have in your team you know whether it's any way to support you whether it's uh, on the about your performance or about other things in life you know sharshu bhai is something that i would say a very good mentor we had always in charges Jatender what do i tell about him he is like uh, is is like my brother you know so on the field off the field not only to me to everyone as we know uh, 
uh, you know he's is always been that one person who if i am into a mess uh, if if you ask me to i am into a mess and the first person i'm going to call to get me out of it that would be jatendra so he's that kind of person for me and yes on the field yes he has a good knowledge of the game due to his fitness he lacks a little behind but then yes he's a, he's a very talented guy his swing uh we we know we we keepers know that uh, how difficult it is to move uh, to carry his swing especially bowls when he bowls wide bowls <laughs> <laughs> just gonna say okay about marvin what do i say about marvin you know uh, a very naturally talented guy okay always pumped up always pumped up on the field he he always plays to win second thing i would say is that a little waste of talent he could he could have continued his cricket or taken cricket little seriously i would say would be at a very good level but uh, his seriousness was only on the field uh, off the field if he would be, still be serious about his cricketing career or his passion for the game i would i would see him at a much higher level at where he left okay. so yeah Great that's thoughts. about marvin guys thank you so much for doing this really appreciate uh, all of you giving me so much of your time and talking from your heart i hope and uh, you know giving me uh, such good memories uh, trying i i actually have forgotten so many points that you guys brought it out and i really really thank you so much for you know getting all those uh, memories out uh, if you want to say anything before we uh, wrap it up uh, please the field is all yours i want so, to say just something hope- Okay, fine. We get to see you soon. Okay, time they bowling. We'll see you soon. Okay, we'll go with we'll go with Junaid ka Junaid first. Okay. इसको टट्टी करने जाने हैं ना जल्दी. Hope नहीं यार अभी workout time. Hope to hope to see you soon, bro. You come to Dubai, inshallah, and want to play cricket with you. Want to see how good you are still with your you know बोलते ना वो. क्या कहावत है? Junaid अभी 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 अगर मैं होऊँगा तो मुझे masters cricket खेलनी पड़ेगी because अभी उम्र हो गई है. इतनी भी उम्र नहीं हुई है भाई तुम्हारी जतिन से तो फिट ही हो गए अगर जतिन से फिट है यूर इन द टीम जतिन पेज एक्स्ट्रा जतिन पेज एक्स्ट्रा टू स्टे इन द टीम भाई जतिन तो रिटायर तभी होगा तब जब छोटा जतिन क्रिकेट एग्जैक्टली फोर्टी का होगा मैंने यही बोला है कि उसका साहज अगर चालीस साल का होगा जब जाके जतिन That's a good one. So, so yeah, I would say is that I hope, yeah, I hope this lockdown uh, gets over very soon and they resume the fights uh, as soon as possible. And then as soon as we come there, I hope the 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 game, you know, we can start playing cricket. As we know, I had heard that from Shashu Bai that Chargers is also going to start. So I'm excited for that. And yeah. yes, Blues, of course, uh, we are always always there, you know, coming yeah. up with more tournaments. Hopefully, in 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 coming days. Let's Absolutely. see. We have a better plan for us, for, for our team, and for the players as well. Great stuff. So yeah, so, yeah. hoping for the positive. Chalo, good, good night. Take care. Yeah, well, Sebas, uh, yeah. I I would just uh, end end this here, saying that uh, you're doing a great job with this channel of yours. Okay, you're keeping yeah. your friends True, together. Bro. That's a very big yeah. effort. I mean, I yeah. really yeah. appreciate what you're doing. Like in this situation, you know, the only thing a person wants is to you know be around with their uh, loved ones, their friends. Yeah, you're, you're doing yeah. that. You're putting that effort and all the time and that. And honestly, like, uh, would love to have you back in Dubai so you can continue with the same thing. And wish yes, you all man. the best and good luck with your channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. It was lovely talking to you, man. Cheers.